India's moon landing in the South Polar region is a game changer. Neil deGrasse Tyson praised this unique choice, breaking away from the usual lunar landing spots. Glad India did not land in the same place everybody else has landed on the moon. That's not interesting. You chose a place where no one has landed before, and that's the South Polar region of the moon. The focus is on uncovering water inside craters, revolutionizing our lunar knowledge. Explore India's groundbreaking discovery with cosmic implications. First touch on the moon. In the annals of space exploration, Luna 9's 1966 feat holds a significant place in our memories. It marked the first soft landing on the moon, making history by safely touching down and transmitting captivating panoramic images. Luna 9, a spherical capsule weighing 99 kilograms and measuring 58 centimeters in diameter, unveiled its vital instruments as four petals unfurled upon landing. Equipped with advanced tools, including a communication radio, solid-state detectors for radiation measurements, and a thermal control system, Luna 9 also boasted a rotatable television camera that captured stunning lunar vistas. Beyond imagery, Luna 9 conducted crucial scientific investigations. It recorded lunar temperatures, revealing extremes from a frigid minus 153 degrees Celsius at night to a scorching plus 123 degrees Celsius during the day. The craft reported radiation levels with a daily dose of about 30 rads. Luna 9 even interacted with lunar soil, conducting a rudimentary soil mechanics experiment, revealing a sturdy lunar surface capable of supporting future landers and rovers. After three days on the moon, Luna 9's batteries depleted, but not before transmitting eight captivating images and invaluable data. Luna 9 paved the way for Luna 13, continuing lunar exploration. Then in 1969, a monumental event unfolded. The Apollo 11 mission launched on July 16th and aimed to transport humans to the moon's surface and return them safely. This ambitious endeavor entrusted three astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Apollo 11 comprised the Command Module Columbia, the Service Module, and Lunar Module Eagle. Armstrong and Aldrin descended to the lunar surface, touching down in the Sea of Tranquility. Armstrong's iconic words, this one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, marked humanity's lunar debut. While lunar activities unfolded, Collins orbited the moon. After reuniting, the astronauts returned to Earth, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean. Apollo 11 yielded profound insights, uncovering a faint lunar atmosphere, regolith dominant landscapes, and hints of water ice in shadowed craters. Notably, it revealed the moon's age, estimated at around 4.5 billion years, shedding light on its formation through a colossal collision between Earth and another celestial body. India's Remarkable Chandrayaan-3 In 2003, India made history with this Chandrayaan-3 mission, capturing global attention. Chandrayaan-3 distinguished itself by targeting the moon's intriguing South Pole, a region of great scientific interest and formidable challenges. Comprising three key components, the mission showcased India's space exploration capabilities. The orbiter, equipped with eight advanced scientific instruments, observed the lunar surface and atmosphere from a stable orbit 100 kilometers above the moon. Vikram, the lander named in honor of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, featured four vital instruments to record temperature variations, seismic activity, plasma density, and surface composition near its landing site. Then there was a Pragyan, the rover aptly named for wisdom. It conducted meteorological and elemental analysis of the lunar soil as it traversed the moon's terrain. The mission commenced on July 14, 2023 with the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, rocket's fiery ascent from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikata, India. However, Chandrayaan-3 didn't head directly to the moon. It engaged in an intricate orbital dance around Earth for about a week. On July 21st, 2023, the spacecraft executed a precise translunar injection maneuver, aligning itself with the moon's gravitational pull, entering the elliptical lunar orbit. ISRO's expertise shone on the first fine-tuned Chandrayaan 3's path through a series of meticulously executed orbit adjustments. Their objective was to position the spacecraft in an optimal circular orbit about 100 kilometers from the lunar surface by August of 19th, 2023. An objective successfully achieved. Vikram's descent and Pragyan's lunar expedition. Vikram's daring descent and Pragyan's moonwalk after Chandrayaan 3's orbiter gracefully entered the moon's orbit on August of 23rd, 2023, the spotlight turned to lander Vikram poised for a daring descent towards the lunar south pole. Separating from its parent orbiter, 
Vikram faced the daunting task of descending to the lunar surface, a space-tight rope walk. Landing on a celestial body required precision. Vikram's mission was to decelerate from 1.68 kilometers per second using onboard thrusters. However, this task wasn't just about speed control. As Vikram neared the moon, it had to make meticulous trajectory and orientation adjustments to maneuver around the lunar obstacles and ensure a safe touchdown. Vikram executed this task flawlessly, touching down between the two moon craters, Simplius N and Menzinus C. This region experiences extreme temperatures, dropping to minus 240 degrees Celsius, with sporadic sunlight. Immediately after landing, Vikram unfolded its solar panels and extended antennas to establish communication with the orbiter, a vital link for replaying data to Earth. The lunar surface exploration had just begun. The rover Pragyan, released from Vikram's ramp after a brief pause, emerged as an intrepid explorer. Pragyan had a single lunar day to complete its mission, equipped with cameras and sensors, navigating the challenging lunar terrain autonomously, avoiding obstacles as well. Cost-Effective Exploration Chandrayaan 3's lunar exploration success came with a frugal budget of $74 million. Breaking it down, the lander, rover, and propulsion module costs summed up to approximately 215 crores in rupees, which launch services accounted for about 365 crore in rupees. Comparatively, Chandrayaan 3's cost effectiveness stands out. Russia's Luna 25 neared $200 million. NASA's Viper rover and China's Changpors had hefty budgets of $433.5 million and around $180 million. The financial efficiency was due to the mission's lightweight decision, with a combined lander and rover weighing just 1.4 tons, significantly less than international counterparts. Using existing technology, the GSLV MK3 rocket and building upon Chandrayaan 2's designs further lowered launch and development costs. Triumph over trials. Chandrayaan 3, India's third lunar mission, embarked on an historic journey filled with challenges from liftoff to landing. Launched on August 15, 2023, it faced the intricate task of achieving the precise lunar orbit needed for subsequent stages. The mission aimed to reach the lunar south pole, believed to conceal water, ice, and valuable resources with its craters. However, this uncharted territory posed daunting challenges, including rocky terrain, extreme temperature fluctuations, and potential communication disruptions. On August 23, 2023, during a critical 17-minute window, the lander, Vikram, flawlessly decelerated from 1.6 kilometers per second to a standstill, relying entirely on its onboard systems. Vikram's successful touchdown paved the way for the rover, Pragyan, to explore the lunar surface. Pragyan faced obstacles like navigating rugged terrain, avoiding obstacles and ensuring continuous communication. The mission operated in a tight schedule, with just one lunar day for operations including experiments, soil analysis and temperature recordings, overcoming hurdles like extreme temperatures, communication blackouts, solar radiation and efficient power management was paramount. Neil deGrasse Tyson Neil deGrasse Tyson expressed optimism for India's lunar endeavors, particularly Chandrayaan-2 in 2019. India aimed to achieve a soft moon landing, exploring the South Pole. Despite a setback and crash, Tyson highlighted the value of space challenges. In 2023, India rebounded with Chandrayaan-3, landing near the South Pole. Tyson celebrated his feat, recognizing its global significance. He explained the region's scientific importance, potentially holding water ice, solar energy potential, and insights into the moon and Earth's history. Tyson's words highlighted India's space resilience, emphasizing the importance of overcoming setbacks for scientific curiosity and global progress. The South Pole Chandrayaan 3's mission aimed to explore resources at the Moon's South Pole, a region of interest due to its potential water, ice, and energy rich spots. Vikram, the lander, carried a lunar surface thermometer to map temperature variations, crucial for identifying water ice. Pragyan, the rover, featured advanced tools like laser induced breakdown spectroscope an alpha particle X-ray spectrometer for compositional analysis and element identification. Remarkably, Pragyan found sulfur at the South Pole, an uncommon moon element, sparking discussions about water, ice, or volatile substances. Vikram conducted various scientific tasks, including seismic activity sensing and temperature monitoring. Lava tubes. During Vikram's lunar mission, it assessed plasma density, measured the moon's magnetic field, and relayed images. The propulsion module orbiting the moon studied Earth's atmospheric polarimetry, unveiling insights into atmospheric phenomena and climate. Notably, an image revealed 
a possible lunar lava tube near the Schrodinger crater. These tubes, formed by lava flow, could offer protection from space hazards, making them potential lunar habitats for extended human studies, promising new opportunities for lunar exploration and habitation. As we conclude, let's celebrate the marvels of space exploration and India's significant contributions to this field. Neil deGrasse Tyson's recognition of this discovery reminds us of the universe's countless mysteries awaiting exploration. Until the next cosmic update, keep gazing at the skies and share your thoughts in the comments below.